Have you ever noticed how time felt endless when you were a child? Yet as you grow older, it slips through your fingers faster and faster? One moment, summer vacations seem to last forever. And now years pass by in the blink of an eye. Why does time speed up as we age? This question has fascinated philosophers and scientists for centuries. But one man dared to challenge the way we understand time itself. A confrontation so intense, it led to a historic debate with Albert Einstein. Time is the invisible force that governs our lives. It dictates our schedules, shapes our memories, and reminds us of our fleeting existence. Ancient thinkers tried to define it. Plato linked time to celestial movements, while Aristotle believed it was tied to the soul. Fast forward to the 20th century, and Einstein revolutionized our understanding by proving that time is not absolute. It bends and stretches just like space. But when it comes to explaining why time seems to accelerate with age, no one offered a more profound answer than the French philosopher Henri Bergson. Bergson wasn't just any philosopher. He was a towering intellectual of his time, a brilliant mathematician who influenced writers, artists, and scientists alike. His groundbreaking ideas reshaped modern philosophy and even earned him the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1927. But long before that, his 1889 doctoral thesis, Time and Free Will, turned conventional thinking on its head. He argued that time isn't just a series of ticking seconds. It's something deeply personal, shaped by our emotions and consciousness. And this idea led him to a fundamental distinction between two kinds of time, measured time and duration. Measured time is what we're familiar with, the time of clocks, schedules, and deadlines. It moves forward in precise, uniform increments, ticking away without concern for how we perceive it. But duration, the time we actually experience, is something entirely different. It stretches and compresses, depending on our emotions, our focus, and even our stage in life. This distinction is the key to understanding why childhood felt infinite and why, as adults, time seems to be slipping away at an ever-increasing pace. Our calendars and agendas divide time into seconds, minutes, and hours, moving linearly from past to future. Einstein expanded on this notion by defining time as the fourth dimension, intrinsically linked to space. But Bergson argued that this view was an illusion, an artificial construction designed to simplify existence. While practical, he believed it limited our perception of reality. He introduced the concept of duration to describe how we truly live time. Unlike measured time, duration cannot be quantified. It is felt and varies from person to person based on emotions and experiences. Think about how time flies when you're immersed in something enjoyable, like scrolling through social media. An hour can feel like mere minutes. But when you're stuck in traffic or waiting in a doctor's office, every minute drags. Claudia Hammond highlights this in her book on time perception citing a study where arachnophobes were asked to look at spiders for 45 seconds. When questioned afterward, they all felt like the experience had lasted much longer. Their fear heightened their awareness, making time seem to slow down. This demonstrates that time is not purely objective. Our emotions and context shape our experience of it. For Bergson, this was the true nature of time, not a straight line to follow, but a continuous subjective flow. He saw measured time as a kind of tyranny, an obsession with clocks and deadlines that distances us from deeper experiences. Mechanical time becomes a rigid master, constantly pushing us toward the next task, leaving little room for contemplation or fully living in the present. He believed this obsession with controlling time contributed to the modern world's anxiety and stress. Our fixation on time as something to be managed prevents us from recognizing its true essence. Bergson's concept of duration explains why moments of joy or creativity feel timeless. When fully engaged, we aren't thinking about the ticking clock, we're immersed in experience itself. In these moments, measured time fades away, and we exist in pure, unfiltered living. Conversely, when we're bored or anxious, we become hyper-aware of time's passage, making it seem to slow down as we detach from duration. The ideas of Henri Bergson about time were not free from controversy. 
In the 1920s, he found himself in a famous intellectual debate with Albert Einstein, the father of modern physics. This confrontation placed two radically different visions of time face to face. The objective, measurable time of physics versus the subjective, experiential time of philosophy. The lecture was originally planned to discuss Einstein's theory of relativity, with Bergson as one of the interlocutors. Beyond being a renowned philosopher, Bergson was also a celebrated public figure, known for his bestseller Creative Evolution. During the debate, Bergson began by praising Einstein's contributions, but then presented his own vision of the human experience of time. Einstein, taken by surprise, hesitated in his response, partly because Bergson spoke in French and partly because his argument was profound. Eventually, Einstein replied, stating that there was no such thing as philosophical time, only psychological and absolute time. He dismissed Bergson's views as irrelevant to the physical reality of time, but to Bergson, Einstein's mathematical time was just another form of measured time, an illusion much like the ticking of a clock. While Einstein's theory explained how time behaves in the physical universe, Bergson was more concerned with how we experience it in our daily lives. Over the years, various theories have attempted to explain why time seems to speed up as we age. Our world has become faster, making life feel like it is passing more quickly. But to Bergson, his perspective on time was not just theoretical. It was a call to fully live in the moment. He encouraged us to experience time as it truly is, absorbing its essence and allowing it to flow freely. Otherwise, we risk losing our connection with ourselves, becoming fragmented and hurried like the anxious minds of the modern world. Although modern physics has transformed our understanding of the universe, Bergson's perspective remains relevant, especially in a world where the acceleration of modern life distances us from the authentic experience of the present. Bringing Bergson's ideas into today's world, we can see how the obsession with measured time still dominates our lives. We live tied to rigorous schedules, ceaseless productivity, and a constant feeling that time is slipping away. Social media, excessive work, and digital stimuli fragment our attention, further accelerating this perception. Bergson's philosophy invites us to reclaim the experience of real time. This means valuing presence, slowing down, and allowing experiences to unfold naturally instead of always racing against the clock. Small habits, like contemplation, immersion in meaningful activities, and creative moments, can help us feel time in a richer, less oppressive way.